Extool just stirred up some drama in the laser world. This is the F2 Ultra, the world's first 60 watt MOPA laser paired with a 40 watt blue diode. It cuts, engraves, colors, and bosses, but the real question, is it worth it? And what the heck is a MOPA? I'm going to make you a promise to be as unbiased as possible with the F2 Ultra, but I'm warning you, you may want one of these lasers after you watch this video. We got some cool content to cover. Xtool boasts that the F2 Ultra is rated at 15,000 millimeters per second. Now, I tested that out with some flash paper, and my gosh, this thing is crazy fast. Wow. Wow. One second on the scoring settings. Are you serious? That is crazy. Two seconds, according to the controller. What in the world? For my actual first engraving, I tested out this aluminum business card. I simply dragged the design over to the Creative Space software, hit send, and the automatic settings did the rest. If you never use the Creative Space software, it's pretty simple. You take some material, put it on the engraving bed, and open up Creative Space software, and it will take a snapshot of your material with its 48 megapixel cameras, which is very highly detailed. That way you can get the placement accuracy. You drop in the design where you want it and use a preset or your own settings and hit start and the software and hit the big green button on your controller to start the laser. I am engraving a small gift box with a floral pattern. I'm using the blue diode on this project with 100% power as fast as it can go while getting a good etch. I know this is a simple gift box, but you guys have to admit, this looks pretty dang cool. This took three minutes and 22 seconds to complete according to my controller, and I could have probably ran this a little faster, but this is looking really awesome. Next, we have an aluminum wallet at 100% power and 8,000 speed. My gosh, so cool. Two seconds, wow. Wow. Who would not love these? That is just too awesome. Wow. Wow. I did this a little early, but according to this right here, it's eight seconds. Look at how fast that was. That is insane. Now, moving on to jewelry, I was using a lot of different settings to see what it could do. So if you look here, we have the framing feature. And I can go in here and just move this down ever so slightly and frame everything up, and that will be dead on accurate. Two seconds. Wow. Four seconds, guys, and I could get that darker if I ran that slower. But wow. Wow. Look at that. I even done it on the other side here. There's one thing I want to tell you. The jewelry engraved fantastic, but most of the time I wasn't even using the user recommended settings. This was a whole practice run, what I showed you on the camera. If I would have used the user recommended settings, everything would have probably came out a little bit cleaner. Not that it looks bad, but I use this as an experimentation. I would show you guys my engraving settings, but there's no need since there are so many presets to use in the Creative Space software. From the outside, the F2 Ultra looks super sleek. I'm really digging the black and the gray aesthetic, and I am glad they ditched the green. Not that there's anything wrong with the green, I just prefer this. Now on the front, there is a traditional sliding door. On the side, you'll find the emergency stop and connection ports, while the back houses the standard hookups and additional ports with a removable fan that pops out for cleaning. Now since this is fully enclosed, fumes and leaks aren't a concern. The build quality of the F2 Ultra far surpasses the F1 Ultra. You see how this is a little flimsy? It's still great, don't get me wrong. You just kind of have to get it in there, press it down. But this right here, it's solid. It's not moving around. Everything about it is built better. Dimensions are 11.5 by 16.8 by 20.5 inches, and it weighs roughly 48 pounds. So it's still pretty manageable if you need to move it around. Now this lives on my Husky work table. That way I can move it around and I highly recommend this. The work area of the F2 Ultra is 8.6 by 8.6 inches standard and 8.6 by 19.6 inches if you use the conveyor. 
Everything I have been seeing so far has been a definite upgrade over my beloved F1 Ultra. So what in the world is a MOPA laser? Well, MOPA is a type of fiber laser that gives you more control, specifically over pulse, width, and frequency. Do not let that confuse you. This is where traditional fiber lasers fall short. They don't give you this kind of flexibility. Now here's the cool part. Creative Space will auto match safe settings so you don't mess things up or waste time dialing in the right settings. There is an option for color engraving and this is where these settings shine. Now I tried some color engraving on a variety of materials and it's pretty wild. If you look at the Van Gogh engraving, I mean, this just turned out amazing. Now this took a little over three hours to do, so it takes a little bit of time, but I think the results are totally worth it. Okay, I did some color engraving and this is on stainless steel. So I did a bunch of different tests here and you can see all the colors in there. And you can see one that I made right here. If I turn this around, I actually warp this piece of steel because the heat is so great coming from this laser. I just did a test to cut this out. I should have ran this a second pass and it would have cut it out. This is not the most impressive test, but what I'm seeing online and what other people are doing is pretty crazy. And this project is actually from another laser, but you guys can see the difference in the colors that you can get. I mean, this is just pretty crazy. Now for the next test, I am engraving some simple images. Now this is nothing groundbreaking, but playing around with the settings definitely gives you a lot of detail for being a 40 watt diode and not to weigh you down with so much knowledge, but usually the 40 watt diodes don't have as good as detail as you would find in like the 20 watt. But from everything I'm seeing here, this is really capable and can compete with a 20 watt machines in terms of quality and accuracy. With each pass, it's getting cleaner and cleaner. That turned out great. I could have tinkered with the settings and got a better look, but I'm pretty happy, man. That's cool. Okay, we got some great results. And if I get in the right light, you can see where we have different colors on the name here. And where it says Captain, this is a more of a light brown. And that is because the heat treatment on this blade up here it's a little bit harder than it is down here. So that's why the color is a little bit different. But overall, that turned out pretty dang cool. Now let's try some slate. And I will tell you guys, I have never engraved such a big piece of slate before, but this turned out really, really good. I did two passes on this and finished it off with some acrylic spray. Super cool. You guys know I'm not going to make a laser video without engraving a serving tray or charcuterie board. And this just turned out fantastic. All the lines in here, just everything is just really detailed. So, I mean, this engraved at the perfect depth. Let me share a quick marketing tip with you guys. I promise this is how I made thousands of dollars doing just this. Begin making a few of these and post them online. Don't say for sale. Yeah, post about how much fun you were having making these. I put someone's name on this and I gave it out. Then I got another one and another one and I did the same thing with a different family. Well, one of the families I gave this to made an order for $450 like a month later. And I have been continuing to do this and orders keep rolling in. So if you don't know where to start and if you approach this with the right heart, I promise you, you can make a lot of money. Okay guys, this turned out much better than my first project. This engraved in 23 seconds at 100% power and 3,000 millimeters a second speed. I could have ran this faster, but I liked slowing it down because I got this bronze effect on this. I mean, when you look at this in the right light, you have this goldish bronze. So that is just super cool. If I wanted to get crazy, I could have rainbowed this out with some crazy color engraving. I may have to do that actually. One thing worth mentioning is how far Creative Space software has come. And for me personally, it's become incredibly intuitive. Like I'm not playing any more guessing games. Some some of the latest updates include text to image generation, color segmentation for metal jobs, 3D object modeling, and more. I know a lot of people are loyal to Lightburn, and I'm not throwing any shade, I promise. But Creative Space is getting seriously impressive with the amount of control and the features they're rolling out that the more professional softwares do not have. Now let's talk power. As you know, we have 60 watts of MOPA and 40 watts of blue diode. I wanted to test the fiber cutting on some brass, so I ran through a bunch of of different settings. Ironically, it wasn't until later when I finally tried the recommended ones that I got the best results. Now everything turned out really good here and I can't wait to cut more. 
Speaking of cutting out Celtic hearts, let me show you something. I have a small one right here, if you can see this. And you see this Viking axe right here? I have been hand carving this with a rotary tool. So I am going to eventually epoxy this in here. You can use this in your other work. I use it in my handcrafted art and it like fits perfectly. Now obviously this can cut really well and if you look on the website here you can see it cutting some pretty crazy thick materials. Now I didn't have any materials this thick to test out but I totally believe them when they say they can so pretty powerful. When it comes to embossing that is something that you don't see from smaller lasers. So imagine taking a 3D image and not just engraving it but actually carving it out. That's what embossing is in my best way I can put it to you. I found this amazing project in the Creative Space Marketplace and that thing turned out so cool. I would like to mess with the settings to see if I can get it better, but I'm so impressed with it. This finished in about an hour and 45 minutes and I absolutely love this. I put some flits on this buffing wheel and we're just gonna kind of buff this out just a little bit and bring out some of these highlights. Okay guys, that looks fantastic. I did use some Renaissance wax on this and that just helped polish everything up. But overall, man, that is looking fantastic. There is also embossing and cutting, which you can see on the website here, and that looks absolutely insane. Now there is also a rotary attachment, but I think we got the point and we all know that it is going to work great. You can see by my footage from the F1 Ultra, it is going to be similar, but the F2 Ultra will most definitely be much faster. Moving on, I wanted to demo the conveyor feeder. I hooked this up and loaded it up with some aluminum dog tags. The batch fill is working great and I can definitely tell that Creative Space has gotten better with recognizing the shapes because when I used my F1 Ultra a few times, it wasn't quite as good. So now they are getting really good with the software. So it's gonna go underneath here. So I'm gonna take a screenshot and just zap it. There we go. So the batch fill works great. I know that wasn't a lot of dog tags, but you guys get the idea. This thing is working pretty dang good. So guys, I am trying my longest project yet. This is going to be interesting. We have the conveyor feeder running. Look at that beam, how powerful it is. I'm running at 100% power and it's getting a great dark etch in the wood. Now you can see smoke is going everywhere, but if I close this, it is going to eliminate most of that smoke right about there. In the middle of filming this, my AP2 air purifier stopped up because I haven't cleaned it. So I have this ran directly outside and look how well the internal fan is taking care of the smoke. They definitely made a good improvement in the exhaust and it's just sucking all that smoke back. So that's nice to see. I am so stoked for this. It took 25 minutes and let's look at it. Dang, heck yeah. That is so stinking cool. I'm trying to get it in the right light for my lens here. So man, look at that. So I would tell you guys, if you were looking at the conveyor feeder, in my opinion, it's worth it if you are going into business, but this just turned out phenomenal. I cannot get over it. It's so cool. I love it. I know, I'm like a kid. Just to throw this in here for a quick comparison, cause I know it will help somebody. The F2 Ultra is like the dad. The F1 Ultra is like the mom and the little F1 is like the baby even though it came out first. So anyway, the F2 Ultra, obviously more powerful. You're going to emboss faster. You have color engraving. It's gonna do everything better and faster. And let me say this, do not sleep on the F1 Ultra. It is still a fantastic laser and it pretty much handles what I need it to do. Overall, I don't think you're gonna make the wrong choice. Just see what your needs are. So we ran through a lot of projects so let's get to the most important part of this video. Should this be on your list to invest in? Even though this video is sponsored, you guys know that I am going to give it to you straight. In business, this is where I think the F2 Ultra really shines. You got speed, power, color, and cutting ability all in one machine. There's no need to bounce between a diode and a fiber. It's built in. You've got the tools to do high-end metal engraving, custom wood signs, 3D embossing, and more. It's really a powerhouse. And that's not just me hopping this up. I'm showing you my results and you've seen it for yourselves. As far as portability, it's portable enough for events, packed with safety features you won't find on a lot of lasers. But above all, 
My favorite thing, it's simple to use. You don't need a PhD to figure it all out. I don't think you can find any other MOPA laser out there that can compete with the Simplicity X-Tool pulled off with the F2 Ultra. Now you YouTube gangsters go easy on me for saying that because I know a lot of people's like, Matt, you're just trying to hop it up. I'm not. I have a laser business outside of this YouTube stuff and I'm just so excited, I'm just gonna put it there. But now for the things that need to be thought about, let's like practically get down to it. If you want me to brutally tear this laser apart, I'll honestly have a hard time. Everything's worked flawlessly for me outside of my own mistakes I made with experimental settings. But the question to ask, I think, for most people is it affordable? The short answer, it depends on what you deem affordable. Now the early bird price was $57.99 with a $50 deposit. And if you miss that deposit window, you can still grab the machine at the launch price, which is $59.99 for the 40 watt and 60 watt combo and $46.99 for just the single laser. Now it will probably not be this price again, so you're gonna have to do what's best for you. And a lot of other laser companies do the same thing with their launch prices. I will post my affiliate link below with any current deals to save you the most money. It will support the channel at no extra cost to you. And honestly, that means a lot, guys. I don't take that lightly. This this is how I run my business. Now, just remember, this isn't a toy. It's not something you buy just to mess around with on the weekends. It's an investment. Now, could you find a cheaper MOPA? Yeah, sure. But a lot of those lasers are rebrands with not so easy to use software, no support, and a steep learning curve. I promise you guys, I'm not trying to talk X tool up here. I am just stating the facts of what I have been seeing. As I mentioned, I am not a techie guy. I want a simple to use software because I have orders to get to. And the F2 Ultra, it just works. That seven second engraving on the wood wallet you saw, that was 50 bucks I made in seven seconds like I got my money back the next day. That's the power you have because of the level of service you are bringing to the marketplace. And I promise you, I'm not just trying to shill this thing, I am living my life out loud and I'm showing you how I'm doing it. So if you need to go cheaper, the F1 Ultra is still my other favorite laser. Don't sleep on that one either. I've been where a lot of you are trying to figure out what's worth it, what's hype, and what's going to help me move forward. So if this helped you even just a little bit, that's a huge win for me. And by the way, I have something important to add that we should think about just from a business perspective. This is the first time I've seen a company bring all these strengths together in one unit with this level of polish and real world usability. Like, it's simple. Now, is it perfect? No, but from a production standpoint, especially if you're trying to make money, this is probably the most capable machine I've tested in this price range. The fact that it does color engraving, deep cuts, fine detail, and even metal embossing and does it fast, that's something I can't ignore. Now, if you got questions about this machine or help figuring out if this fits your workflow, drop them below. I try to respond to as many as I can. And subscribe if you haven't already and hang out with us. We've got more projects and behind the scenes content coming soon. And remember, there's no blueprint for creativity. It's discovered as you go, friends. A lot of people up here blame me for being an influencer that gets free stuff. And I will tell you, friends, this has been far from being free with any of the 10 to 11 lasers I have in my shop right now. It took 16 years to build this, many sleepless nights, failed projects, threats, all kinds of stuff has went on that people have no idea. So I would like to tell a lot of you guys that may have a problem with me up here saying, hey, you can get a laser through my link. I want you guys to know that even if you don't, I'm not up here. I would be up here even if I didn't get paid because this is what I love doing. This is my second channel and I have been doing this for a long time. I am over 4,000 edited videos between my clients and other stuff that I've been doing for many years. So if you're saying I just got here for free, I it's not guys. So I put a lot of time and effort in this to bring you a comprehensive, competent look at this laser. So if you see a level of professional building and thinking that I'm marketing for them, it's not. I just, this is the way I do things. So anyway, guys, this video is not about me. It's about you, but I thought I should explain my heart to you guys. So um, yeah, anyway, I appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you later.